Hey everybody, it's Jared here with Duckless Plus. We're uh, heading up to a small little town, uh, just a little north of Boulder, Colorado. Up here, up north, they're actually doing a lot of a lot of new construction, and um, they're doing a lot of remodels on these houses that are all electric. So the house that we're about to go to right now is an all electric home. There's no propane. There's no gas. It's all electric and he has electric baseboards. If you've ever had electric baseboards and that's your primary form of heating, you guys know what I'm talking about at the end of the month when you get your utility bill. It's very exuberant. So keep in mind when you transition from uh, electric baseboards into a ductless mini split system like we're gonna put in up here and we'll show you everything that we did up here in this guy's house, it's gonna save you a ton of money. It's gonna make your comfort level increase. It's gonna it's gonna help your utility bill out. You're gonna be a lot more happier with your comfort and your usage, especially your pocketbook. Let's go duckless. Let's get some mini splits. Let's get some duckless technology in your house. They're 40% more efficient than a traditional air conditioner. So if you want to save money, you know, contact me or any other local diamond contractor in your region. Hey everybody, Jared with Duckless Plus. We did a three zone system up here uh, just in Lyons, Colorado. It's a little remote town, just a little bit uh, north of Boulder. We installed three ceiling cassettes. This gentleman actually has an all electric home. So all of his units that he was using originally were electric baseboards. They're very expensive to operate. You do not get air conditioning out of that. So we ended up putting in these machines. So he's gonna have heating and cooling from this. This is an 18,000 BTU unit. Um, you can see it, it's, it's operating right now. You can, if, if you go to close to it there, Don, you can see how quiet it is. That's, that's as loud as that machine's gonna be. And Don, and Don go ahead and uh, scan this room real quick and show everybody. So you can see it's a pretty big room. Um, the important thing to remember is electric baseboard is a very, 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 very slow heat. It is going to take forever for it to get warm. So uh, come on over here. I'm going to show you what we did. We installed an MHK2 thermostat. Okay. So he has an MHK2 thermostat. We're, we're just doing some cycling right now. So we have it turned all the way up right now. But this was his old electric baseboard thermostat. And you can see it controls right here, just a little guy. So this kind of did like the hallway right here. And then this one was actually interlocked with the one that was over there behind the couch. And he has a beautiful house up here. So folks who have, you know, if you have an electric baseboard system and you're looking to get rid of it and get mechanical heating and mechanical air conditioning, a ductless option is a, a key. You know, if you don't want to go in and add a bunch of duct work and insulate it and cut in numerous supplies and returns and all that, these are so much less obtrusive. Come on, I'm going to show you some more stuff. So he has two rooms here. This is actually the master suite and you can see it right there. So up here, up here in the mountains, it's obviously going to have some more grueling temperatures than in, you know, maybe down in the city, you're going to see some, you know, steeper fluctuations as far as how cold it might get up here. So we didn't eliminate his electric baseboard. He still has that in worst case scenario. So if it gets below negative 13 degrees, these machines are designed to drive down there and still work effectively. But at about negative 18 is they'll cut out and turn into lockout mode. So if you look right here, we left 
his electric baseboard thermostat and we put our thermostat right next to it. So he has an MHK2 on each unit. The, this is an ideal scenario. I'm not a big fan of the remote controls. I feel like the remote controls are, you know, they're, they're kind of limited in what you can do and they're, you know, they're a little bit, you know, difficult to get to used to using. You know, I, I would rather have a thermostat on the wall as well. It's stuck there. It's not falling off. You're not going to lose it. You're not going to drop it. You're not going to break it. Right. So there's some benefits right there to have an MHK2 thermostat combination with this. So, um, you know, if you look back up here again, if you see these two lights, what those two lights represent is if the, ther if the thermostat's giving it a call and it's beyond four degrees, then it's going to have two lights on. If it's within two degrees or satisfied, it's going to just drop to one light. However, you're going to be able to distinguish that now instead of a remote control because the remote control doesn't tell you a display. It just gives you a set point temperature. Okay. The MHK2 is actually going to give you a digital readout of the room temperature and your set point. So you actually really know how warm it is in your home or room. So that's what's great about these machines is you got room to room thermostats. You got true BTU and loading. You don't have all that static pressure loss of traveling through a ductwork. It's, it's going to come into the machine and right out of the machine instantaneously. So you're getting that full benefit of your machine as far as efficiency goes. So you size them for each room. You put them in there and, and that's it. You know, you're good to go. You're going to have heating, cooling. If you're not in the other room, you can turn that one down if you want. You know, you don't need to have them all in the same temperature, but that's basically how it goes. Come on, we're going to go downstairs now. You ready? Let's go take a look at this condenser. So we have... We have this machine in full operation mode right now. It's in max heat. So here it is. This is the machine. Um, we poured this concrete pad about three or four days ago. And well, maybe a couple more days than that, maybe about five days ago, we let it cure really good. And then we put it on a little riser block. And that's because the machine does have a pan heater in there. All right. They will go into defrost mode and they're going to melt the water that's in there. You don't want this machine to get a bunch of snow on it. He's kind of super lucky that we located this here because now it's it's permanent. It's it's not going to get snowed on, rained on, hailed on, nothing on. It's it's going to be very protected under here. It's can, full bore. Yeah, and listen this is, how quiet. Yeah, this is exactly like maximum operation mode right now. And it's, it's really it's, quiet. It's it's quiet as you can be. I mean, I'm just smart multi. I don't have to talk over this. Oh, one thing about the smart multi, if you guys don't know about it, what Mitsubishi did was they had a P series line and an MXZ series. Okay. So instead of having two different lines, they just combined them. So you can use a smart multi system on a P series commercial style installation and you can actually use it or in a MXZ branch box style. So it does matter how you do it. So if you're gonna use a smart multi in a branch box, then you have to make sure you're using the residential M MLZ KP style units, okay? Um, Denver's the one that did this install and it, it I mean, this is a fancy unit. I mean, it turned, Come on, out, Denver. It turned out great. Introduce our customer there, brother. This is our buddy, Steve. I bought the fancy unit. Hey, Steve. Thank you. Thank you. We just wanted to come out and do a really good job for him, and he was excited to get it. And, and they did. I couldn't did a be great happier. Job for him. They, they uh, show the utmost professional on everything they did. Uh, always showed up on time. I, I'm very excited about my new unit. Well, thank you, Steve. We appreciate you uh, letting us come up here and work for you. But um, yeah, you guys, this is a, a Ductless Plus installation and we do try uh, you know, to do everything we can to make our jobs look good. I mean, just, you can see outside here how good Denver did a good job on that. I mean, just everything on this job is flawless, so. And Doug too, it's me and Doug. Okay. Denver. Doug was instrumental. This is the supervisor here. He made That's sure right. Doug and Denver was doing their job right. And, he looks rather pleased. He took care, <laughs> he took care of them, so. But uh, 
Again, yeah. you can look out here, look at uh, the beautiful environment we're in up here in Lions Cove. Gorgeous. Yeah, so. so thanks, again, thanks again, guys. Thanks again, everybody. Another job well done. Thank you. Dr. Plus. 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 Plus.